nights where the power of God moves in deepest wonders and might. Join the servants of God, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumayi, every first and third Thursdays of every month in this 2024 season for a night of supernatural wonders. Come, bask in abundance in the mighty works of Jesus at 5.45 p.m. at any Deeper Life location nearest to you. You may just be a praise from your breakthrough. No turning back till the hand of God is upon you. A night where the storms of life dissipate. A night where the captivity of the evil ones are turned away. A night where dry bones receive life and the sick renew strength like the eagles. It is a night where the power of God moves in deepest wonders and might. Join the servants of God, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumayi, every first and third Thursdays of every month in this 2024 season for a night of supernatural wonders. Come, bask in abundance in the mighty works of Jesus at 5.45 p.m. at any Deeper Life location nearest to you. You may just be a praise from your breakthrough. No turning back till the hand of God is upon you. A night where the storms of life dissipate. A night where the captivity of the evil ones are turned away. A night where dry bones receive life and the sick renew strength like the eagles. It is a night where the power of God moves in deepest wonders and might. Join the servants of God, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumayi, every first and third Thursdays of every month in this 2024 season for a night of supernatural wonders. Come, bask in abundance in the mighty works of Jesus at 5.45 p.m. I can't hear that amen very well. Tonight, every bondage will be broken. Sorrows will turn to joy tonight. Handkerchief from heaven will wipe your tears tonight. Whatever has been stubborn in your life, causing you sleepless night, causing you sorrow, tonight the Lord will remove it in Jesus' name. We are not here to play. We are here to connect with heaven. The GS did not just bring us here to entertain us. He has given us a message from God that this year, before the end of this year, in deeper life, there will be no feeble person. In deeper life, there will be no sickness. The Lord is starting with us tonight in Jesus' name. Why not put, open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? Tonight is the beginning of the end of affliction. Tonight is the beginning of the end of bondage. Tonight is the beginning of the end of sorrow. Tonight is the beginning of the end of all the troubles of life. Your tears will begin to wipe away tonight. Just worship the name of the Lord. The Lord has seen. He said, I have seen your sorrow. I have seen your tears. I have, I have seen your cry. And I am come down to deliver you. Worship the name of the Lord. Of deliverance. The night of supernatural intervention in every negative situation in our life. If you are already just coming in, please join the prayers. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. And have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them, and I am come down to deliver them. Out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land, the land of sorrow, the land of oppression, the land of limitation, unto a good land and a large land, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. You are going to tell the Lord. 
that this night I will not be a spectator. This night I will not just be an observer. This night I will be a partaker in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is the affliction in your life, whatever is the challenge in your life, whatever is the sorrow in your life, no matter how long it has been, I tell you according to the word of the Lord tonight, you are coming out into a land flowing with milk and honey in Jesus name. Why not go before the Lord, tell the Lord, I will not be a spectator tonight. I will not just be an observer tonight. This is the area of my affliction. This is the area of the oppression I go through in my life. This is the challenge in my life. There's a reason why I have come into your presence, O oh Lord. You know my tears. You say you have seen my sorrow. You have seen my cry. O oh Lord, make this night a night of divine remembrance. A night of divine visitation. A night of a new beginning in my life. You will testify in Jesus' name. We pray. Give me an amen of expectant congregation. I said, Give me an amen of expectant congregation. We are going to pray that this night in this place there will be supernatural, extraordinary anointing that will break every yoke upon the man of God. That God will release upon him supernatural, unprecedented anointing. Open your mouth and pray. And the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing. Lord, open heavens upon your servants. Let the anointing flow freely, unhindered, and let yokes be broken. No matter how long the yokes have been, no matter how seemingly stubborn the yokes have pro proved themselves, tonight every yoke shall be broken because of the anointing, unprecedented anointing. That the Lord will open heavens upon us here tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. More than we have requested, you will do in our midst. Lord, as we are commencing supernatural night of great wonders with this first one here tonight, open heavens upon us. Do more than we expect and let your name be glorified. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh Lord, my God, when I know some wonder for worship. Oh, 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 I see the stars and I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe displays
endure it forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord of heavens for his mercies endure it forever. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. I said amen. amen. Father, we thank you as we commence with GHS song now. We pray that your fellowship will be in our midst. You will glorify yourself. And yokes, even as we are in the singing time, Anointing through this music, we break yokes in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. We we'll remain standing. We'll take the song. If God be for us, if you have the program sheets at the back of the program sheet, rejoice in the Lord. Oh, let His mercy cheer. He sunders the bands that enthrall. Redeemed by his blood, why should we ever fear since Jesus is our all in all? Be strong in the Lord, rejoicing in his might, be loyal and true day by day. When evils assail, be valiant for the truth, for the right, and he will be our strength and stay. Confide in his word, 
his promises so sure in Christ they are real and amen. Through the earth pass away, the ever shall endure. It is written o'er and o'er again. Abide in the Lord, secure in his control. It is life everlasting begun. To pluck from his hand the weakest trembling soul, it never, never can be done. If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who? 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 Who can be against us? Against us? Praise the Lord. 
another night of wonders is here with us. God is going to give us a wonderful visitation tonight during this night of supernatural wonders. It is time to pray for the nations with praise, worship, and thanksgiving to God for his past blessings upon our lives in all the meetings of the church, especially through the GCK and retreats. In Revelation chapter 4, verse 11, we are told, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So we want to go into prayer now as we praise and worship and give thanks to God for the salvation and preservation of all souls who have come into the kingdom through these wonderful programs of the church, the GCK and the retreats and other programs. Lift up your voice, praise the Lord, worship the Lord, give thanks to God for the salvation and preservation of all souls who have come into the kingdom through these programs. Open your mouth and talk to God. Praise God for the bountiful harvest of souls, for the just and the GCK and retreat. Open your mouth and thank God for the great and mighty things he's doing. We also thank God and praise him for what he is going to do for us in the forthcoming GCK slated for 25th to 30th of April 2024 at Abba in Abia State. Open your mouth and thank God that God is going to do something. God is going to do wonders. God is going to save souls. He will heal the sick. He will deliver the oppressed. Jesus' name we pray. We want to continue to praise and thank God for all his sustaining grace, the anointing, the divine health, as well as the impact of his servant's ministry on the church and the world at large. He's using his servant to do great and mighty things in the church as well as in the world. Open your mouth and praise God for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray that the Spirit of God will stir the hearts of all believers, especially members of this church, to be fully mobilized for full and total participation. We should accept the program and really be involved and make sure that the program becomes a success. Pray for the Lord to give all members fresh vision for souls and compassionate hearts like our Lord and Master Jesus Christ to see sinners saved across the nations. In Matthew 9, 36, but when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Pray that the compassion of Christ will be our compassion. The love of Christ will be our love. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray. Let's present our sick world before the Lord. That the Lord will have mercy upon us as a people to forgive the iniquities of the people and heal our world of the universal disease of sin. Everywhere in the world today, sin is abounding. Let's pray that the Lord will intervene. Like Daniel of old, O oh Lord, hear. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, hearken and do. Defer not. For thy own sake, O oh Lord God, for the world you have made and the people in the world. Let's pray and intercede as Daniel interceded. 
for his own world at his own time. Because of his name as creator, what is going on in the world is not palatable to God. So let's pray that the Lord will come down and visit the world and heal the world of sin. And cause the world to believe in Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray for God to overrule the power of the devil working against the nations. Pray for God to break and scatter all. The Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he would destroy the works of the devil. Let's pray for the manifestation of Jesus' power in every part of the world to destroy the works of the devil, sin, sicknesses, and all the problems that are going on everywhere. Pray for the Lord to visit his world and deliver. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray for God to humble all the pharaohs and the Nebuchadnezzars in any nation of the world. You know how some leaders are going about their own leadership, bringing troubles here and there. God knows every one of them. Let's pray that the Lord will meet them and turn them around so that they will do the will of God in the nations. Pray for God to come down to humble them as he did to Nebuchadnezzar and he saw the glory and the power of God and he confessed that God is above all. He was even telling people to worship God. So let's pray that God will do it again. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's present our burdens before the Lord as we have come tonight for the night of supernatural wonders. Whatever problem you brought, open your heart, open your mouth and tell the Lord. We are not going to leave this place with the problems we brought. We want the Lord to touch our lives. Nobody will go away with his or her problem. We need the touch of the Lord tonight. We want the Lord to use his servant more than ever before. We want the Lord to let the anointing and the power of God flow through him in a way he has never done before. Open your mouth and talk to God in prayer that the Lord will use his servant in, a, in an unprecedented way. The anointing and the power upon our years tonight. Let's pray that the Lord will open the windows of heaven and shower abundance of blessings upon his people. Not only in this location, but all over the world. That all yoke of sin sicknesses of any kind will be destroyed by God's power and anointing. By the anointing, the yoke shall be destroyed. Let's pray that all the yokes that have been brought to this night of supernatural wonders will be destroyed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, pray. And whatever your burden, talk to God about it. The Lord is going to do it. The Lord is going to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the privilege of prayer that you have given unto us. We have poured our hearts unto you. And even as you have promised us, we know that you have answered. May your name be honored and glorified as we, as we see and experience your power and manifestation of your glory in our meeting tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for making it possible for us to be here tonight. There will be wonder in your life. For those who are coming for the first time, we are happy you are in our midst. So if you are coming for the first time, anywhere you are seated, could you please raise your hands? You are coming for the first time. God bless you. Can you stand up? God bless you. God bless you. Can you stand up and let's see you clearly? You are coming for the first time. You are coming for the first time. God 
bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Remain standing. Today is the beginning of your testimony. Our ushers are very close to you. They will give you a sleep. If you are still sitting down, you are coming for the first time, please stand up. Don't miss this opportunity. They will give you a sleep. Please receive from them. And then you feel it and you return it back to them. And uh, as you are feeling, uh, you are listening. In this church every Sunday, we have our Sunday service, which starts by 7.45 a.m. in our various locations. And then on Monday, we have our Monday Bible study, which starts by 5.50 p.m. in our various locations. And then most of the times, we are here for those who are designated to be here. The location close to you will be told you by those who brought you. And then every Thursday, we have Thursday Revival and Evangelism Training Service, which starts by 6.30 at designated location. We want to give our offering now, so let's rise up as we give our tithes and uh, offerings unto the Lord. Let's raise up our tithe and offerings. Father, we thank you so much for the privilege of giving. We are asking, Lord, you will receive this little we have brought. Use for your glory and let every giver receive the reward of givers in Jesus' name. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Put them in the bags. Once you have dropped your offering, you can be seated. If you have not dropped, you remain standing so that you can be recognized that you are still waiting to drop your offering. Something will happen to somebody tonight. Is the person in church today? If you are the person, can you shout a loud, 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 Amen! Let's drop our offerings. There's a name the Levis Mountains. It's cause of highways through the sea. Seen its power on rival battles right in front of me. Oh, there's a faith that stands defiant, it sends Goliath to his knees. I've seen a praise on rival shock. Right of my feet That's the power of your name Just a mission makes a way Giants fall and struggles break in their healing And that's the power that I claim It's the same that wrote the brain There's no power Oh, there's a hope that calls that courage In the fall is unafraid That's kind of daring expectation That every prayer I make Is on an empty grave Cause that's the power of your name Just a mission
Praise the Lord. I thought you would shout an hallelujah of expectant people. I said, Praise the Lord. <laughs> Tell somebody beside you, you will see the glory of God tonight. It's testimony time. Let's listen to testimonies now. Praise the Lord. I have beside me here Yusuf Shodiko. He will give his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Yusuf. I am from Otugu District. Fence name uh, oh, daddy again. So I am here to give testimony and testify to what God did to me, the salvations and the healing. I was once a Muslim before, but I was sick. I was diagnosed, uh, I was sick with Stephen Johnson syndromes, so that I went to an hospital for emergency. Then people start coming to church and to the, to the hospital to tell me about the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I said no because I went to Arabic school, so I was ashamed to give my life to Christ. So after like one week, they discharged me and went home. When I get home, I was not feeling okay. I know that I was not completely ill. So something was just telling me that, give your life to Christ. Then I was thinking of which church am I going to go? Then I'm a part-time teacher, so I teach in mathematics. Then I went to a school, I saw a sister. So she was praying. And I asked the sister, please, which church are you going? And he said, it's Deeper Life Ministry Church. So, then we, just, we left, we departed. A week later, she came and she gave me a leaflet, like flyer. He said, there is a program that is going to, that, that will be holding on that November. That was on the 23 of November, 2023. GCK in India. So, she asked me to come. So, I went there. So, I was there. Then the man of God started with the message, which is the expected Christ, our Messiah, if my memory serves me well. So as the man of God was preaching, sometimes if man of God was preaching, we say, say amen. So I will say amen. From there, I started seeing like there's a visitation, like there's a prayer coming from above. I started seeing like I'm, I'm seeing something like healing. So I'm seeing something like healing. So because of that, after the message, the man of God said that if there's anyone that wants to give his life to Christ, that thing alone give me um, the, uh, the opportunity to say, okay, today, today, I have to give my life to Christ. So, the man of God asked us to bend our heads and he prayed and he asked us to stand up that they should collect our information. Then he said, after that, we will come to pray. So after he come back, he said we should lay our hand where there is a problem. When they discharged me from hospital, I said earlier that I was not completely ill. Because it's all, almost my organs is on the verge of collapsing. It is hard for me to breathe. Even I have wounds inside. I cannot breathe. To sleep, it is hard. To walk, it is hard. Even I cannot say like, hallelujah, I can't say it before. It is very difficult for me to say. So I just put my hand on my chest. And the man of God pray. From there, I see that something is changed. Like something is inside me. Like he's treating me somehow. So for, since from that day, I get my total healing. So I thank God for the, for the healing. I also thank God for the salvation. Since I have known Jesus Christ, I have peace of mind. I have peace of mind. So I thank him. I bless him. I also thank God. I also thank God for the man of God. So God will continue to be with him. Holy Spirit will be, continue to be his guidance and direct us so that he will be able to teach us the word of God. So I thank you. I bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The brother here gave us a diagnosis already. He said he was diagnosed of Stephen Johnson's syndrome. This is actually a disorder of the skin and the mucous membrane of the body. And 
it leads to a lot of inflammations, sores, ulcers that makes even swallowing food difficult. Blisters in the mouth, sometimes it affects even the respiratory tract and everywhere will be sore, even the eyes. That was why he could not shout hallelujah. But the supernatural, divine hand of God touched him for healing and he's healed today. <laughs> Trust God for your healing also tonight. Praise the Lord. Tonight is your night. Did you hear what I said? What did I say? Tonight is your night in Jesus' name.
Amen. There's a miracle in the making for me. For me. There's a miracle in the making for you. And before you leave here tonight, the maker will finish the making. And the receivers will receive everything. You will go home with a testimony. Now we listen to special music ministration from musicians in the church. Tonight is another night of supernatural wonders. And with a special heart of gratitude to God Almighty and to our Father and the faith for giving us the privilege to minister to the church on this platform. Daddy, God bless you, sir. As your days increase, May your strength increase in Jesus' name. Shall we rise to our feet as we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. You will never 
number are happening tonight and in particular are happening to you wonders with a number are happening in your life say it and believe it Somebody good news. Oh yes, I have to now and to you. I have to you. Wonders with a number. I have in your life. In your to a time in the history of the children of Israel, going through challenge from challenge to challenge, God spoke to Joshua and God told him, this day will I roll away the reproach of Egypt from the land. This day, which day? I can't hear you. I said, which day? Ask your neighbor, which day is your own? And God said, Joshua called the name of that place Gilgal. A miracle will give you a new name today. Divine intervention will change your nature today. There will be a Gilgal in your life. A Gilgal in your business. A Gilgal in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. The man of God is coming up. Get ready for your Gilgal. If you know that tonight, tonight is for you. Total recovery. Where are you? It's wonderful you have come. You have not heard half of what is going to happen. Total recovery in your life in Jesus' name. Raise up those anointed hands. 
Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name because we sense your presence already. And we know that you are going to bless your people tonight. Lord, I pray there will be no exception tonight. Yeah. Young and old. Men and women. Leaders and members, invitees and those who have been coming before, do something new in every life in Jesus' name. Wipe all the tears away. Take all the problems away. Everything we have had you are going to do, do everything for everyone in Jesus' name. Break the backbone of their enemy. Destroy the works of the devil. Take every incurable disease away. Put their feet on victory ground tonight in Jesus' name. Put joy in every life. Laughter in every mouth. Let it be a night of total recovery for everyone. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I am blessed. Say that for yourself. God bless you. You can see now we're coming to 1 Samuel chapter 30. 1 Samuel chapter 30. And I'm reading from verse 6. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the effort. And Abasa brought thither the effort to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue. Tonight, pursue. You will overtake them. Yeah. You will recover everything. Yeah. For thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover all. I thought you'd say, Amen. Yeah. Recovery what we have lost brings joy, brings new life. When you recover what you have lost, it brings a new drive in your life, a new determination. If I got this, I'm going to get more. It brings a sense of fulfillment and a source of inner strength. Brings courage to begin life all over again. And you understand that abundant life is going to begin afresh. I just read to you about David and his men, they lost every sin that was precious to them. That brought sorrow, brought distress, emptiness, discouragement came, their disorientation, there was inner turmoil, and there was total exhaustion. But then, just wishing I wish I could have all. That doesn't solve the problem. David went to God in prayer. And he said, Lord, look at my circumstance. Look at my situation. What do I do now? Should I pursue them? If I pursue them, will I overtake them? If I overtake them, will I recover everything? From the least to the greatest. And God answered. God is going to answer you tonight. And he said, pursue one. 
Then he said, you will overtake them too. And then three, you will recover all. Understand? He didn't even fold the sand. The unthinkable has happened. The terrible has happened. What can we do now? We're helpless. We're hopeless. They're taking everything away. No. He said, I have a God in heaven. I will talk to that God in heaven. Whatever is happening to you tonight, whatever has happened to you before tonight, we have a God in heaven. We're going to talk to that God on your behalf. This thing you have lost must come back. Your blessing must come back. The totality of everything that has gone out of your life, everything must flow back into your life in Jesus' name. No part of your life, no part of your family, no part of your possession will be in the hands of the enemy. And tonight is your night. Don't look now, I want to catch your face there. I said, tonight is your night. A night of total recovery. Where are you? Where are you? A night of total recovery. You have cried enough. You have been sorrowful enough. The times of dejection and the times of regret. Why am I here in life? That is enough. Now everything is going to turn around. Joy has come. Laughter has come. Abundance has come. David prayed. David pursued. David prevailed. And David recovered all. I'm talking about you tonight. You are that David tonight. As you pray, as I pray, an explosion will take place in your life. The dynamite of heaven, the bulldozer from heaven, the caterpillar that will take all that mountain away, that thing is going to clear away. I said that thing is going to clear away. Because as we pray, we're going to prevail tonight. And everything lost in your life, in your family, in your business, in your Christian experience, you got it tonight. I'm reading from 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse 1, 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but... But, but, he was a leper. All the victories became nothing. All the triumph became nothing. Look at the man. Riches, wealth, popularity, national position, national whatever. But, he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies. And I brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, my master, while with the prophet that is in Samaria, would God, I wish that my master will get to the prophet in Samaria. Ah, I wish you get to the prophet in Bagada. I said, I wish you get to the prophet in Bagada. 
Are you there today? Where are you today? Ah, recovery has come. I said recovery has come. In verse 3, for he would recover him of his leprosy. Incurable disease will vanish away. That mountain of a problem, mountain of a sickness will vanish away tonight in Jesus' name. Leprosy will vanish away. Cancer will vanish away. Blindness will vanish away. That hunchback will vanish away tonight. And all those problems have been carrying about, and it's a reproach, a reproach, a reproach upon your life tonight. Everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. Look at verse 4. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is in the land of Israel. And then it goes on to say, And the king of Syria said, Go to, go. I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed, and he took with him ten talents of silver, and six thousand pieces of gold, and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now, when this letter is come to you, behold, I have there with Saint Naaman, my servant, to thee, that's to the king, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. Did they send him to the king or to the prophet? Let me hear you. And then he went to who? He made a mistake. But all the same, you'll see at the end of the story, that mistake was nullified. Whatever mistake you have made, and you go this way, instead of going this way, you are still coming back to the place you ought to be. Recovery will come to you tonight in Jesus' name. Verse 7, and it came to pass when the king of Israel read the letter that he read his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make alive that this man does send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy. Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel with me. The scene almost turned to another war, but there's no war. I said there's no war. You left your place, and you came to Samaria, I uh, thank God the problem is solved. I said you left your place and you came here tonight. What are you? Are you there? The problem is solved. Verse 8. And it was so when Elisha the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes. That is saying to the king, saying, Wherefore, as thou rent thy clothes, let him come now to me, and he shall know. Somebody there tonight will know. And he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses, big man, VIP. And with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan, tell me, seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. And thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth, angry, and went away and said, Behold, I thought 
it's not what you think. I said, it's not what you think. I saw they rub oil on me, no problem. I saw they will lay hands on me, no problem. And you find somebody there that is angry, no problem. After the anger, the miracle will come. It's having wrong thought. I thought, this is what they will do. And then he said, let's go back home. No, you are not going back home without recovery. You must get it tonight. And then he said, I thought it will surely come out to me. And stand and call on the name of the Lord is God. And strike his hand over that place and recover the leper. And not a banner and papa. Don't mind all the arguments. After all the arguments, miracle will come. Don't mind all the wrong reasoning. After the wrong reasoning, miracle will come. Don't mind the thought that is going on in your mind. How about this? How about that? Don't mind all that. After all those thoughts that is uh, struggling in your mind, your miracle will come. Yeah. And not a banner and farpa rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel. May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. That doesn't cancel the solution. The solution is coming. I said the solution is coming. I look at you tonight. Whatever you do, whether you stand up or you sit down or you put your head on the ground or you put your legs up, tonight, tonight, you will not live here without a miracle. Tonight is the night of your recovery. All those problems are going to be wiped away tonight. And whatever happens, and whatever does not happen, whatever you do, whatever you don't do, before you go out of that gate today, miracle upon your life. Look at verse 13. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much more rather than when he says to thee, wash and be clean, then this then will happen in your life. Then went he down and did himself, tell me, seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again. Are you seeing the house? And his flesh came again. Like unto the flesh of a little child. And he was clean. And he was clean. And you are clean. And you are healed. Naaman was an incredible leper. Seek, ashamed, despised, depressed, unhappy. He needed total recovery. He did not waste away in idle inaction. He took the journey after he heard. He acted on the information. He sought divine remedy. He corrected his wrong attitude, his wrong thinking, and eventually he obeyed, and he had total recovery. Tell the person by your side, that's my story. I have it tonight. I have it tonight. Remedy, recovery, total healing. Deliverance has come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Tonight I'm talking to you on the spiritual dynamics of total recovery. The spiritual dynamics of total recovery. There's dynamics in this. There is a kind of kinetics in this. There is some kind of movement. You know, this happens, that happens, and that happens dynamics in your life tonight and it's going to happen 
Number one, the promise of total recovery from all sicknesses. The promise of total recovery from all sicknesses. Point number two, the pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. The energy you have lost. Thank God you are going to regain it today. Weakness as setting, impotence as setting, tiredness as setting, lukewarmness as setting, disinterest, you have no interest in living again. Something new is coming tonight. Life is coming tonight. Power is coming tonight. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. Number three. The prayer. Somebody help me shout the prayer. prayer. Are you there? I say shout the prayer. prayer. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. Every supplicant. That is somebody making supplication. Somebody making petition. Somebody saying, I will not live here today until this miracle happens. Are you hearing me? I will not live here today until this recovery has taken place. Thank God it will not be long. It will come upon your life. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. Number one, the promise. God has given you a promise. I said God has given you a promise of total recovery from all sicknesses. Look at those sicknesses tonight. You will not see them anymore after this meeting. Exodus, Exodus, Exodus chapter 15. I'm reading from verse 26. And said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God. Somebody there tonight is hearing the voice of God. And will do that which is right in his sight. I will give ear to his commandment and keep all the statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which are brought upon the Egyptians. Every form of sickness you hear about anybody in the world in Egypt will not come upon you. Any sickness there, ask yourself. Is there an Egyptian somewhere there that has this? If you discover it is belonging to the Egyptian, you are not an Egyptian, you are the Israel of God. You say, pack your load and go. You didn't say it, you just said the amen. Pack your load and go. And then God said in verse uh, in the latter part there, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Do you see present tense two times there? I am, I am, I am, and that great I am that I am has not changed. And he said that healeth thee. That means tonight is going to happen. I said it's going to happen. Psalm 103, Psalm 103, I'm reading from verse 1, Psalm 103, and we're reading from verse 1, here it tells us, Psalm 103, reading from verse 1, bless the Lord, O my soul, others have been praising the Lord, it's now your turn, you'll praise the Lord, others have been singing, it's now your turn, you will sing. Others have been giving testimony. Now it's your turn. You will give testimony. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth? How many iniquities? Who forgiveth? How many iniquities? All thine iniquities, all thine iniquities. Where is the person the Lord is talking to? You. All 
those uh, condemnations, everything will vanish away tonight. And then look at the next part there. Who healeth? Tell me. Who healeth? Make it personal now. Who healeth? All my diseases. Look at verse 4. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Ah, you're free. I said you're free. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies thy mouth? Whose mouth? I said whose mouth? Who satisfies thy mouth with good things? Ah, evil will pass you by. Yokes will pass you by. Causes will pass you by. Calamity will pass you by. All those powers of darkness, as they came up, they will go tonight. So that the youth is renewed like the eagles. Your youth renewed like the eagles. I'm looking at Jeremiah chapter 33. Jeremiah chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 Call unto me And I will answer thee Any answer tonight? Any miracle tonight? Any healing tonight? Any provision from heaven tonight? Call upon me Call unto me And I will answer thee And show thee and show thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not you will see what you have never seen you will experience what you have never experienced ah you have seen i'm a christian i'm born again i got this i got this pastor i gave testimony in my district did they tell you I gave testimony such and such a time that one praise the Lord for that one that one is initial testimony something is coming on top I said something is coming on top it will show you things you have never known look at verse 6 look at verse 6 behold I will bring it health and kill I will kill them on my right hand side, I will kill them. In front of me there, I will kill them. I will kill them. There on top, I will kill them. You are killed tonight. You are healed tonight. And then, look at this, look at this. And I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth every commotion in your life everything will pass away confusion in your life everything will pass away tonight you recover i recover i recover i recover luke chapter 4 luke chapter 4 i'm reading from verse 18 the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Past tense or present tense? Yesterday or today? In the morning or this night, this hour? The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captives. And the recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogues were fasting on him 
And he began to say unto them, Read it yourself. Read it for yourself, personally. This day, the day of Ikobi, this day, the day of answered prayer, this day, the day of miracle, this day, this day is this scripture fulfilled where? Put your hand there, put your hand there. Fulfilled where? Tonight is your night. Point number two now. The pursuit. Somebody there tonight will pursue. You will catch what you are looking for. You will get what you are expecting. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength lost strength if you are, if you are tired now when you recover tonight you will be strong if you are weak now when you recover tonight that mighty dynamite from heaven will come inside your body Isaiah chapter 40 Isaiah chapter 40 I'm reading from verse 28 Has thou not known You will know Has thou not heard You will hear That the everlasting God the Lord The creator of the ends of the earth Fainteth not Neither is weary There is no such in Of his understanding He giveth he gives, he gives, the doors of heaven are opened upon you. The windows of heaven are opened upon you. He's giving you something right now. Something is coming upon your life right now. Power is entering your life right now. He giveth power to the faith. And to them that have no might, he gives us strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But, but, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Renewal. I say renewal. You are renewed tonight. All those dead cells inside your body will come alive. The cells are dead in the eyes. That's why you are getting blind and you cannot see very well. Those cells will come alive tonight in Jesus' name. When I sit down, I cannot stand up. When I stand up, I find it difficult to sit down. There's pain at the back. There's pain in the throat. There's pain in the head. Something is moving here. Something is moving there. That thing is swept away. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I rejoice with you tonight. Your strength is renewed. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. No mountain will hinder your progress. You stay too long in the valley. And they tied you down there. And you'll be crying there. Doing some merry-go-round there. I don't know what to do again. There is nothing to do tonight as settle the whole matter. They shall mount up. I will mount up. I said, I will mount up. You will mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and not be weary. You will test it tonight when we go out after the meeting. Because before, if you walk a few, a few steps, 
you are looking for something to hold and sit down. And then you get up and walk a few steps again. And you're looking for something. And it's like, you know, your eyes are turning. I'm going to fall. Hold me, hold me. You will hold other people tonight. Tonight, you will run. I said, tonight, you will run. All those debilitating things and the weakness things in your life, they are swept away tonight in Jesus' name. And they shall walk and sh they shall not fade. They shall walk and they shall not fade. Look at Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35, it says, Strengthen ye the weak hands. Confirm the feeble needs and say to them that of your fearful heart be strong. What is heaven saying to you? What's the Almighty God saying to you? What Jesus, your healer, your deliverer, your redeemer, was he saying to you? What are the angels of God saying to you? What is heaven declaring to you tonight? Be strong. You are going to be strong. Weakness will vanish away. Pains will vanish away. Impossibilities will vanish away. Be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come. You didn't hear that one. Your God will come. With vengeance, even God with a recompense and he will come and save you he will come and deliver you he will come and set you free he will come and break your yoke he will come and convert your soul then look at verse 5 the eyes of the blind shall be open ah tonight tonight if your eyes are dim what happened to you you have some bruises i didn't see the peach i was just walking and i fell that dimness of sight will vanish away tonight you will see your eyes will be bright it says the eyes of the blind shall be opened the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then, verse 6, Then, then, shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb shall see. For in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in your desert. The parched ground shall become a pool, the thirsty land springs of water in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes and an highway shall be there and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it but it shall be for those the way fearing men, no fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there. No lion will be your way anymore. No any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return. And come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away. And sorrow and sign shall flee away. It's happening there tonight. I said it's happening there tonight. I say chapter 41, verse 10. I say chapter 41. I'm reading there from verse 10. It tells us in verse 10, fear thou not. 
for I am with thee. The Savior says, I am with thee. The Deliverer says, I am with thee. The Healer says, I am with thee. The Provider says, I am with thee. Miracle has come. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed and angry against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive for thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a sin of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand. Saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, that one Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Says the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, behold, I will make thee a sharp new threshing instrument, having teeth, and thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the, the hills a sharp. Thou shalt find them, and the wind will carry them away. All your problems, the wind will carry them away. All your mountains, the wind will carry them away. All your distress, the wind will carry them away. Joblessness, the wind will carry them away. Poverty, the wind will carry them away. It says, thou shalt find them. And the wind will carry them away. And the world wind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. Somebody there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. My daughter there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. My son there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. And shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Where is your amen? Isaiah chapter 52. Isaiah chapter 52. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Awake. Awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garment, O Jerusalem. The holy city. For henceforth, from tonight, write the date down. From henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. You may lie down, and cockroaches walking all over you, insects crawling all over you. And all the problems of the forest, all the problems of the because we are lying down, shake yourself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. You are getting up today. Your strength is coming back today. The power of the Lord upon your life is coming back today. Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54. I'm reading from verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent. Increase has come. Enlargement has come. Enlarge the place of thy tent. And let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left 
and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not. Are you there? Fear not. For thou shalt not be ashamed. Neither be thou confounded. For thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. And shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Look at verse 17 there. Verse 17. Verse 17. Ah, look at something for you here. God wrote this because of you. He put this now because of me. I said because of me. no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. In your community, in your compound, in the village, on the road, in the market, on the chair you're sitting on, the food you eat, the water you drink, the situation you find yourself, anywhere you are, in the taxi, in the bus, on the road, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In the dream, in the day, anywhere and everywhere, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Give me a good amen. Psalm 20, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 20, we're looking at verse 1. In Psalm 20, verse 1, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and the Lord accept thy bond sacrifice. The Lord grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill and fulfill and fulfill all thy counsel we will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banners look at this one look at this one read it out yourself you believe that say it again Look at the person by your side and say to them. Point to them and tell them it will happen to them. Now point back to yourself and say it for yourself. Tonight. I said tonight. Your night of recovery, I said tonight. The Lord shall fulfill all thy petition it will happen in jesus name that good thing that you lost is coming to you right now recovery 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 i'm a possessor tonight I'm an achiever tonight. I'm a conqueror tonight. I am well. I am healed. I am delivered. I am blessed. 
Point number three, the prayer. Point number three, the prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. How many people are going to be answered tonight? Everybody, everybody, everybody is coming your way. Psalm 65, Psalm 65, verse 2. Psalm 65, verse 2. O thou that hearest prayer unto thee shall, how many people? All flesh come. O thou that hearest prayer is getting ready for you now. Is getting ready for you now. Everything that comes out of your mouth tonight, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Psalm 61. Psalm 61. I'm reading from verses 1 and 2. Psalm 61, verses 1 and 2. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Something higher? Something greater? Something better? Something richer? Something farther? To the top, to the top, to the top, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Mark, Mark chapter 9, in Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 22, Mark chapter 9, Reading from verse 22, and all times it has cast him into the fire and into the waters and to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. If thou canst do anything, the man was, you know, of the old school. He didn't know that Jesus will do everything. But now I know. But now I know. But now I know. I know that in your life tonight, he will do everything. Yeah. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. That's why you came tonight. All you came tonight is just to believe. I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. And as you believe, as you believe, all things are possible in your life in Jesus' name. Chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God for verily assuredly truly certainly I say unto you that whosoever I say unto you that whosoever who is whosoever have you met him before whosoever have you seen him before Whosoever, I said, you see there tonight? Are you sure? Ah, tonight, problems have gone. Whosoever, look at this, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Where is your mountain tonight? In the sea. I said, where's your problem tonight? Where's that sickness tonight? Where's the joblessness tonight? That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe 
that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have, I will have, I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. And what will happen? And ye shall have them. Tonight, God is going to answer everyone. Total recovery for everyone tonight. God always answers prayer. What kind of prayer? Fervent prayer. Fervent prayer. The one that stands up tonight and says, God, you gave me the promise and you talk out. And let the devil hear tonight that you've got the victory. Let the enemies hear tonight that you've got the victory. Fervent prayer is going to be answered. Faith anchored prayer. Prayer that is anchored on faith. That says, I believe God. I have faith in God. That tonight, tonight is the night of my recovery. Faith anchored prayer. Tonight, prevailing prayer. This one is not come next time. Come next time. Ah, tonight, tonight. You will prevail in Jesus' name. Importunate prayer. The one that is knocking and keeps on knocking and keeps on knocking. And heaven says, who is that? And you say, it's me, child of God. I'm asking for this. You told me all my petitions will be answered. And I have a long list in my hand here. That's why I'm knocking. And you keep on talking. You keep on knocking. Importunate prayer. Thank God he has answered you tonight. Yeah. Undeniable prayer. Und I will not be denied. I will not be denied. Until he comes and makes me whole, I will not be denied. Let me go for the daybreakers. No, you cannot go. I will not let you go except to bless me on deniable prayer tonight. Heaven piercing prayer. That door in heaven must open. I said that door in heaven must open. Because the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force heaven piercing prayer strength restoring prayer that as you pray tonight the weakness will drain away by the time we say the final amen you'll say I feel strong I can walk I can jump I can run. I have a testimony. It will be your mouth. Strength restoring prayer. Life transforming prayer. That you know your life has been like this, like this, but tonight the kind of prayer that will transform your life. Mountain moving prayer. This mountain must go. I said, this mountain must go. Darkness dispelling prayer. Any darkness in your way, any darkness in your sight, the prayer we pray tonight will dispel all those uh, areas of darkness in Jesus' name. Yoke breaking prayer. Yoke breaking prayer. They hang it on your neck. They hang it in your family. The curse, the yoke, the heavy load. The prayer we pray tonight. Get ready. I say get ready. It will break every yoke in your life in Jesus' name. Destiny changing prayer. Destiny changing prayer. 
no bad luck for anybody here tonight. No evil again for anybody here tonight. I'm hearing a voice and they're following after me. In the name of Jesus, get out. Destiny changing prayer tonight is going to happen to you. Now, are you ready? Where are you? I said, where are you? Are you sitting down? I said, where are you? Very late, very late, I say unto you, that whosoever, whosoever is sitting in the house tonight, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, talk now, unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, I will have, I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever right now you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you have got them. You have got them. You have got them. Open your mouth and let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Tonight is a night of recovery. Tonight is a night of miracle. Tonight is a night of power. Tonight is a night of breaking yoke. Tonight is the night of salvation. Tonight is the night of strength. Tonight is the night of open heavens. Tonight. Tonight. Thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. You have come. You have come. Receive. You have come, be saved. You have come, be healed. You have come, be delivered. The brain tumor is going away. That brain tumor is going away. Receive that. You are healed. The power is gone. Receive that. You're healed. Watch in bed at night. That is gone. Receive that. You're free. The noise in your ear. All that is healed. You're free. That shadow that follows after you. That shadow of the enemy. Is living away. You're free. The pain as if you stepped on, on a nail. And therefore that sin refused to be healed. That's all. The saw is drying up right now. You are healed. You are walking and then somebody slapped you from the back. You look back. You couldn't see anybody. And since that time, you have had that terrible problem at that very place, that thing is cancelled tonight, you are healed. They call your name. You answer. After that answer, it's like your life became disoriented. You're free tonight. You're free tonight. The Lord has set you free. Whosoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart. 
he shall have he shall have whatsoever he says you step on something and heat pass through to your body through that leg and since that time you've been leaping you're free the Lord sets you free tonight free let that short leg grow out you're free dimness of sight once it's getting to evening you can't see anything virtually anything the dimness is cleared away partial blindness is cleared away now you are free now you are free you have recovered your sight free healed delivered the yoke is broken the threats of the enemy taken away that load taken away from your head from your neck free free Heaven's favor is smiling upon you. Heaven's favor is smiling upon you. Divine answer is coming upon you right now. You've got it. You've got it. Your miracle. Try there. Your deliverance is right there. Freedom, total freedom, right there. Strength for the weak. Provision for the poor. Jobs for the jobless. breakthrough breakthrough nobody will keep you in a corner anymore you're free lengthen the cords enlarge your tent look up there's something great from the horizon coming upon your life. Recovery. Total. Absolute. Great. Recovery your life tonight. Recovery your life tonight. The sorrow is gone. A shameful disease is gone. The bad luck is gone. The yokes are broken.
The enemy is defeated. The rains are beginning to fall. Supernatural rain. Showers of blessing. Showers of miracle. Showers of deliverance. He will answer everyone, everyone, everyone tonight. Whatever the challenge, whatever the need, He answers every prayer.
In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has answered your prayer. Say, I believe. The Lord has answered my prayer. You are healed. Just say, I'm healed. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. You are lifted up. You are promoted. Your enemy is conquered. Your prayer is answered. What is the whosoever? Whosoever. Whosoever. Tonight, joy. Tonight, testimony. Tonight, overflowing blessing. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your faithfulness. I pray, Lord, everyone here without exception, receive your answer in Jesus' name. Salvation for every soul. Forgiveness for every soul. Renewal for every life. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Miracle for everyone. Receive in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you break every yoke in every life. Remove disease from everyone. And let your healing virtue flow through the body of everyone right now. In Jesus' name. From the top of your eye to the tip of your toe. Receive the healing virtue of Christ. You are healed. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. Your yokes are broken. Barrenness cancelled. Incredible disease cancelled. And all those attacks and all those evil things taken away from your life in Jesus' name. Lord, showers of blessing for everyone. Showers of miracle for everyone. Showers of deliverance for everyone. Lord, confirm each in every life. To my right, miracle. In front of me, miracle. To the left, miracle. At the gallery, is miracle. Lord, I pray the joy of the Lord will be the strength of everyone. Go back home with joy. Go back home with miracle. Go back home with total recovery. There's testimony in your mouth now. Joy in your soul. Laughter in your mouth. You go from victory unto victory. Lord, confirm it in every life. Thank you because I know you have answered. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. My prayer is answered. Tell the one by your side, my prayer is answered. I got it. I got it. Anybody got it there? Maybe permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Testimony time now. Online testimony. You want to listen to testimony from the online space. Praise the Lord. My name is Christiana Orok. I am in Cross River State, Calabar region, Nigeria. By the grace of God, I am born again. I am here to testify to the healing power of God in my life. In the month of July, I took ill. I had stomach upset. I thought it was just a little problem, but I didn't know the enemy had come to claim my life. But I told him, my life is not in his hand, it is in the hands of God. 
The following day, it became so severe that I had to go to a private hospital. And when I got there, I was asked to go for scan. When I brought back the result of the scan, the doctor was scared. He referred me to Navy Hospital, Calabar. When I got there, I was on admission. Several tests and scans were carried out. The final one was CT scan. While the CT scan was on, I was almost like a dead person. I couldn't speak. All I was saying in my heart was, God of Pastor Kumui, have mercy on me. I've been in this church since 1983. I have not visited any false prophet. Please have mercy on me. And while in the hospital, my state overseer and his beloved wife visited and prayed for me. When the result was out, I was diagnosed of different ailments. I was told I had fibroid, I had appendix, I had kidney stone, I had enlargements of liver, and I had high sugar. I told the devil that this is not for me, it is for you. After some days, I was discharged. Brethren were coming to pray for me. I look away from the pains. I believe the prayers of pastors and the men of God. During the edition of the August edition of the GCK, we went out, even with uh, the pens, went out for evangelism and publicity with faithful brethren. During the period of the crusade, after every message from the man of God, we always asked during the miracle prayers to raise up our hands and place the other one where we had the, elm, uh, the challenge. And so I was doing that. In one of the days, he specifically mentioned my problem. And that was how God in heaven visited me and healed me completely. This is the result of the scan in my hand. And I stand here to say, may the name of God be glorified in Jesus' name. I also want to say, Daddy, thank you very much. May God bless and continue to keep you for us in Jesus' name. My name is Chief Julius Etari in River State. Uh, Happened to love one of the apostles, I always call him Apostle Kumuye. This time, whenever I come across, always hear from Treasure FM when he's preaching. Every time, whenever he has any program, I love to hear. On the 24th of November 2022, there at Adamawa in the Northern state as i listed in the time of prayer he said and uh, announced and everybody stand means if i follow stand in my room i'm getting through my oh, small yeah, radio and fine. then he started to pray all those who have problem i only one who have sickness you do anything evil spirit let it start. Every kind of sickness, every kind of infirmity, he'll take away right there tonight in Jesus' name. Prostate cancer, you are killed now in Jesus' name. And he prayed. Me, myself, I believe that that night, this sickness will hold me for over 16 years. Who I don't go to hospital that very day. All my belief is that this sickness is moving away from me. And when he prayed everything and he said is everything is finished, everything is done in the right way he want, I feel like something like that. I go to the toilet. I I will well and nothing touched me till today. I've received the healing through the, the one I'm calling Ikumuyi. I always call him. Apostle. So I had to testify to tell the Christian that the gospel we are following, we are following Christ, make we not lose hope. And that's what I want to testify to tell the world. Clap, clap, to, a clap offering, an offering worthy for the great God, for the great things. A miracle has been made and deposited in your life. Amen. Amen.
your eyes and begin to worship the Lord. Magnify him. Exalt him. This God is wonderful. This God is marvelous. He has started with us this year. The next one will be greater than this first one. And every month there will be a crescendo. A crescendo. By the time we get to December, you will look for trouble, you will not see trouble. When they say give your prayer request, you'll be giving testimony. Because they say, I don't, I, I don't know what to pray about again. I, because I don't, I look to my right, I look to my left, forward, back, everywhere. I am testimony enveloped. In Jesus' name we pray. Is that your amen? Give me amen of testimony. Father, we thank you for tonight. We are grateful. From the depth of our hearts, Daddy, we say thank you. We are asking, Lord, that these miracles you have made and deposited in our lives will make a loud noise. In our community, these miracles will make loud noise. As we get to our offices tomorrow, these miracles will make loud noise. In anywhere we go, this, in our family circle, our in-laws, our extended family, they will hear the loud noise of our miracles in Jesus' name. Father, we are asking, it will crescend every month in Jesus' name. As we go home now, let your presence go with us. Thank you, Father. We say glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Give me the final amen for tonight. No, that's not loud enough. Give me a very loud amen. God bless you. Save Johnny back home. Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. And as we pray, I mention the name of Jesus. Your miracle will meet you there. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us because he has anointed us to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent us to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. As we begin the GCK for this month, titled for the theme, I will present Jesus. Jesus has gone ahead to prepare the grounds of Abba Abia State, Nigeria. From the 25th to the 30th of April 2024, at 1600 hours GMT, every evening, and on Sunday at 0700 hours GMT, the power of the Lord is set to turn around the lives of all and sundry, and He is ready to perfect the affairs of all men, prepping change makers in the society and the world at large. Through His servant, Pastor Dr. W. F. Komuyi. Youths that will become godly catalysts in this present world. Presenting the Impact Academy for Youths on the 27th of April, 2024. A minister called to greater service on the battlefield and in the vineyard of God must be alert, resisting the devil always. We bring to you the Ministers and Young Professionals Conference titled Strength for a fainting minister. God is there already. We are ready. Abba Abia State. Are you ready?